I think I'm very drawn to Ian's work because it tends to focus on a moment in time and how a decision in that moment can completely alter um, someone's life forever. Um, I think it just short, sort of shows the uh, the delicate nature of of life and relationships and how you really have to sort of care for them and continue to care for them. So. It must be a real joy to be able to talk directly with the creator of a character that you're playing, but does that also add some extra pressure on your performance? In this case, it didn't. It didn't add any extra pressure. I was, I was really glad to have him there. Um, I had just come off another film as well and sort of went straight into the shoot for this. So to be able to spend the time working with Ian in the rehearsal room and talk through everything and shape the scenes together. He was very, very good at like allowing us to collaborate with him and um, really discuss what was right for the characters from all our points of view. So um, yeah, so it was it was lovely to have him so involved and um, if anything, I think it took the pressure off having him there. So. Now, you've worked with Billy Howell previously. Do you think having that kind of prior relationship helped uh, with the awkward scenes that you had to participate in? Yeah, I do think it helped that we had already, you know, worked together on another film and it was about a year and a half before, but um, but we knew how the other one worked. Um, and it just means that you don't have to go through that week or two of getting to know somebody and, um, having that familiarity with them we were already we were already there so yeah it did definitely help your parents are played by emily watson and samuel west what do you admire about their performances in this film oh gosh what do i admire about their performances well they're just um i mean they're both brilliant actors emily appears in maybe two or three scenes and she has this um this like strength and this sort of poise and and for her character it's brilliant this this iciness um that really helps you to understand why Florence is so eager to get away from that world um and Sam West's character he plays my father in it and um he leaves a huge impression on Florence um he's a bit of a bully really um and when he's around, you see this change in Florence. So Sam just, you know, played that brilliantly. I think it's it's a very brave thing for an actor to come along and play someone who is essentially um, a villain and, you know, unlikable. So he, he, he did that. He did that so well. Looking back on courtships during this time period, they're a far cry from the dating apps of today. Mm. Do you think there are some positive elements that perhaps young people of today could take from this generation? Um, yeah, I mean, I think just in general, everything has become so immediate and everything is so instant. Um, it's, it's like you can instantly find someone to go on a date with or um, book a table at a restaurant or see somebody's face, even if they're thousands of miles away, which is brilliant. But I think it's important to sort of not put pressure on yourself to land at a certain place too quickly you know especially in relationships like it is important to sort of give yourself the time to get to know someone um properly and i think sometimes if you rely on technology too much or social media and that sort of stuff um you can have quite a surface level relationship with someone so and uh, just finally what was it like seeing yourself as an old person Oh, it was weird. It was so strange. Um, the prosthetics were amazing. They looked very realistic. So I remember when they put it on, it took about three and a half hours to do. And we started makeup at half four in the morning or something. And then I finally saw it. And it was funny how I, I could just see lots of different relatives of mine in my face. Like I, I, I sort of recognized so many different people I know who I was related to. Um, so yeah, it was great. I noticed that everyone was being much nicer to me when I was old. They'd all open doors for me and ask was I okay. <laughs>